Hi there. Can you see me? Man, you look... Well, it's just a hat for the summer, but I uh, just took a shower. It's um, April 8, 2015. My third review back in my toy room. Because unfortunately, I did one in the kitchen. I did them in the kitchen. It's because uh, it was too cold, my toy room. And I basically, if you touch any of the figures, they, they, they're brittle and they'll break. So yeah, I'm crouching down. But I'm going to sit down and tell you. Today is a special video. Been wanting to do this for a long time. <laughs> I didn't see that for a long time too. Uh, it is called the Evolution of Marvel Legends uh, figures from day one till recent and the evolution of build of figures. Build of figures. Now, let me sit down. Okay. The build of figures started with Devilman. Believe it or not, in the 1990s, between 90, Devilman lasted from 94 to 97. So Devilman, uh, they made a lot of different characters. I'm looking around if I could grab one for you guys to see, but uh, but that would be for another video. I'm just gonna show you exactly what Devilman uh, build the figures came with. Okay, now. There were three, three, three different build figures in the 90s. Uh, by the way, guys, girls, geeks, freaks, peeps, children of all ages, women and men that are my subscribers, this is going to be a long video. It's going to be between 10 to 15 minutes. I'm sorry. Live with it. They made three different build the figures for uh, the Devilman action figure line. Now, they came with accessories like little masks. They came with a black piece of plastic that hid around the, the part of the build figure. So they made three. They made a black demon uh, with wings and arms and, and long tentacles, uh, which I sold already. And to a, a fellow co a collector here and a tattoo artist, he's going to start doing my tattoos, uh, Gabe. <clears throat> Very nice guy. Very, very sweet guy. I, I helped him build his, his uh, build a figure of Ares. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have Ares. I have Ronnie Accuser. I have uh, uh, Red Hulk. I have the Blob. I have Nemesis. I have, uh, I have every single build a figure ever made, except for one, which I don't like. It's uh, the onslaught. I sold it. I didn't care. Uh, here's a. Uh, Giant Man, Ant Man, Giant Man, build a figure. This was a lot of parts. This, uh, how many parts was it? About 12 or 15 parts. This one uh, on eBay, you would, on Evil Bay, I would say between 100 to $150. Yeah. I showed you this in the first video, a few videos ago. This is the black build a figure. Uh, Black Arms, Apocalypse. This one's rare, 200 and up on eBay. Yep, with the tubes. Remember, if ever you get it looking for it, make sure it has this eh? or else don't buy it. If it doesn't have this, don't pay more than $50. Here's Galactus, build a figure. And you know which line that is from. Everybody knows all this. Okay. Now, the second figure they made, going back to Devil Man, of Build a Figure, they made a silver demon or devil, whatever. Same thing, just different color. Boring. Now, I give the figures themselves all between 3 to a 5. I love the Devil Man action figures. Uh, they're my, one of my favorite f f uh, line to, to collect, but unfortunately, it's so big that I can never finish it. And I don't know how much there is because not a lot of people do reviews or have a site on Devilman. Now the third figure they made, oh by the way, they're not articulated at all. They just snap together and they fall apart right away. You're going to have to glue them. Uh, I give the black demon one on five. I give the silver one two on five. The one I give the most is this one, the glow in the dark one. These are wings. If you really look closely, these wings remind me of Blitz from uh, from uh, the Red Lanterns of DC uh, DC Universe. 
Yeah, Blitz. This one reminds me of. Okay. Coming back to the evolution of Marvel Legends. This one I give it a 5. Marvel Legends started with first packagings like this. Okay? This one came out in 2001. It started around 2000, okay? So Marvel Legends started in 2000. Then after when they first made the first Marvel Legends set with Toad, uh, Iron Man, Toad, Iron Man, three different Iron Mans, Toad, Thor, I think. Eh, who cares? We, I don't remember. It doesn't make a difference. This is the first packaging of Marvel Legends they made, okay? Or you get a comic book, or you get a poster. If it's American packaging, you get a comic book. If it's Canadian packaging, you get a poster. Sometimes with a silver frame around the poster or um, gold. This is uh, Spider-Man 2099. Cool. I get this packaging. Because... No, I have... yeah, I'll be right. I'll be frank. I'll give it a 2.5. It's not my favorite packaging. The next one they made was the regular line was this one. This one came out in 2004, not the Build-A-Figure. It came with Juggernaut, a Punisher from the movie, Cable with a stupid weapon that he wrote on, Little Cable, Brown Wolverine, and one of the rarest figures, Deadpool. And I am, for, uh, for, of course, uh, Phoenix. This is Dark Phoenix. She goes for a lot. Uh, I give this packaging, this one came with the comic book, this is an American packaging, three on five. Yeah, I don't give it more than that. The third packaging, well, the, third, the second packaging they made was this. Remember this, uh, this, set, uh, this video I did with X-Men Evolution? Okay, X-Men Evolution, X-Men Classics. They made four different uh, classic uh, uh, Marvel figures. They made X-Men Classic, they made Fantastic Four Classic, they made um, Hulk Classic and Spider-Man Classic, all of them. And they made a lot of rare figures in there. And all those four sets, especially the Fantastic Four, the, the, the Dragon Man, goes for $500 loose. I couldn't get one, but the, my friend wanted $380. No, $480. I go, nah, it's too expensive. This is the other one. See, that it's just cardboard. It's uh, plastic. I love the, uh, this one. This one, I give it 4.5 on 5. This packaging. Love it. The next one they made was this one. Well, I don't have I don't have the packaging itself, but basically they were like this. It had something that came out like this on the side, right there, and it was oval here, and it was about that thick, about that thick. And uh, this was for build the figure uh, uh, Red Hulk. I can show you the figure. There's the the Adam Warlock. Love the figure. The figure itself, I give it a 5 on 5. This is another packaging of the same line. Here's Silver Surfer. Imagine, I don't have one anymore uh, in the package, so I open them all. Uh, they made, uh, from this, this series, they made Build-A-Figure Nemesis, Red Hulk, uh, Ronan the Accuser, uh, Aries, which are all the rare figures, you know, because there's a lot of rare figures in there, man. Oh, it's unbelievable. The next one they made was this this series, 2012. Packaging was like this. This, Marvel Legends. It's like the reissue of Marvel Legends. This is Archangel. I give this packaging 3.5 on 5. Yeah, I love it. Very nice. The last series they made was just a recent series now is this packaging. Which right away the packaging I give it a one. One on five. I hate it. I can't stand it. I don't like the artwork. I don't like nothing about it. There's nothing great about it. It's crap. But in the back it's boring too. This one in the back it's boring too. I, I didn't give a, a, a rating on this one. I gave it a two. I don't really like it that much too. I really don't like it. But they made some really nice figures. They made the the, the Wrecking Crew. 
And the, the next Wrecking Crew character, uh, the last one, uh, Bulldozer is coming in this in this uh, packaging soon in 2015. This year, finally, we're gonna get it. Uh, I give it a one for the for the figures themselves. It's about time they got really nice on the women's buck, and they did it beautiful. Took a long time, but hey, Mar uh, Hasbro, whoever, which company ever, Hasbro, you're doing a good job now. The buck on the women now are beautiful. They're Breasts are nice. Sorry to to say bad words on YouTube. Uh, everything is nice. Their paint jobs are nice. A lot of the paint jobs on these figures are nice, but I find they don't stand for beans. The women cannot stand. There you go. That was the evolution of Marvel Legends packaging. Hope you enjoyed that. Sorry if it was a long video. Stay plastic, and the next video is going to be more Marvel Legends.